Hello there gamers, Gondor here and welcome back to Let's Play Mirror's Edge. Last time, we got some information from Ropeburn but unfortunately he was killed by an unknown assassin. A sniper, as a matter of fact, from the building just across the way. And in this episode we are going to go to... If I can... I don't know, do I just drop down? Yeah. Uh, in this episode we are going to go to this uh, meeting that uh, Ropeburn was supposed to go to before my untimely death at just slightly missing that pipe from just a few inches away. Yeah. Unfortunate. Alright. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing in this episode. And as always, we're going to look for more bags as well. Right, come on. Here we go. Alright. So... I want to talk about something that was that I just kind of slightly missed um, in the previous episode about the E3 thing. Now I, I can't remember if this was um, part of the E3 uh, announcement, but it's been uh, well. We already know that this game is is confirmed, and I know that I mentioned it. I think of a good few parts back. Uh, Mirror's Edge Two. I am very, very excited for Fire's Mirror's Bobby. Edge 2. Uh, I know it's going to be for uh, a, a PS4, Xbox One, and possibly PC or Steam. Um, I'll probably get it for the PS4 when I uh, get one. So yeah, um, after seeing some of the uh, kind of, I wouldn't want to say gameplay, but some of the scenes in it, that game looks really, really awesome. I know it's a prequel to this game, so this, so uh, Mirror's Edge Catalyst is what it's going to be called. Uh, that's going to take place before this one. So basically, it's just telling you a bit of history about uh, Faith. And I really, really hope I didn't miss a bag. Nah, I'm pretty sure I haven't. Because I know that one of the bags I need, or two of the bags I need, is on a roof. But yeah, Mirror's Edge 2 looks absolutely awesome. I cannot wait to get a PS4, I cannot wait to get that game, and I cannot wait to play it. You know, out of all the games, um, there is only one game that I am slightly disappointed for. But the game looks awesome because I have played uh, the previous one in its series. And that is Rise of the Tomb Raider. The only reason I'm very, very disappointed in, th in in that one, now, it's not because the game is bad, no, 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 the game is absolutely awesome, you know, it looks absolutely fantastic. It's just, it's Xbox exclusive. That is so, if I can punch, so, no, I can't. Okay, oh, yeah, there we go. So, damn annoying. You know, why did they put it as an Xbox exclusive? You know, that's the one thing that's really, really disappointing about it. And I am not getting an Xbox One just for one game. You know, that's why I am not an Xbox player. Because there is literally no games for me that I'll play on it. Oh, great. So yeah, Xbox, not for me. I think it... I think it'll probably be announced on Steam. I do have a Steam account, but I've never used it. Because, uh, well, my computer just doesn't run Steam games very well. No matter what game, or any kind of big game that I put on my laptop, um, it massively, massively slows down and it just ruins the gameplay experience for me. Of course, that's partly... Uh, my fault, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> Come on, where is the bag? I'm missing a bag. Where is it? I know it's on a rift somewhere. I know what I'm looking for. Oh god. But yeah, um, for other games, uh, uh, I know about the uh, ukulele uh, thing as as well, which is the spiritual successor to Banjo Kazooie. You know that looks really, really awesome. I know that uh, uh, Grant Kirkhope is going to be doing the 
uh, music for it, just like he did with uh, Banjo Kazooie and other awesome games. Now, wait, is it down here? Yep, there it's. Found it. This is bag number one. If I can get down to it. There we go. Right, what do we got here? Life is neither good nor evil. Only place for good and evil. Hey, it's scruffy. Whoever leaves these stupid things, please stop. Uh, what's what's hell with pulls? Can you know just talk normally? Oh yeah, and there's the runner logo over there. You know, that's the one thing that I can't stand about things. You know, people shortening words. Can you know do it normally? Can you know spell please as P-L-E-A-S-E -E instead of P-L-Z? I know it saves time, but come on. Please say it normally. For me. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oops. I pushed the circle button to turn around and <laughs> yeah, I still kept running. Alright. Right, so it's telling me to go over that way. Oh, maybe I need to go over this way, which looks a bit more safer. Uh oh god, oh god, oh god. That's a cool, that's a cool, I'm gonna die. Stay, st stay down, stay down. Hello. Oh, no, he got me. God damn it. All right. Well, those ones went in the red aura, so... I think it's safe to say I might just have to run past these guys. Alley-oh. Right, he's telling me to go over, over that way. That guy's red. Oh, come on. All right, kick. There we go. Go, go, go! Please don't shoot me, please don't shoot me, please don't shoot me. I'm already at low health as it is. Oh, that was lucky. Oh. Okay, let's go! Okay. Right, so I can go that way. And there's nothing all over that way. Right, so let's go this way, because this way seems to be the only good way to go. Oh, God! Oh, don't do that! I thought that was a massive drop. Oh boy, that's why I hate going in and lifts like this, because you never know when it's just going to be a big massive drop. But anyway, um, other games. Um, I heard that there's going to be like a new uh, Metroidvania kind of game coming out. I can't remember the name of it, but a lot of people saying it looks very, very awesome. Of course, it's probably going to be for Steam, which is unfortunate. You know, that that's the one thing that annoys me about games these these days. Can, can you know just put them out on multi-platforms instead of just having it on one exclusive? Oh, there's a bike. It's a shame that we can't use it. I mean, why the hell would you? Besides, it'd be pretty dangerous. I mean, look, there's nowhere to go. Well, I could go through that door, but I can't because the door's white and I can't go through white doors. Apparently, if you paint a door white, Faith can't go through it. You know, you, you, you need to paint something red in order for Faith to go through it. Well, doors anyway. If it's buildings, then sure enough. You know, because we've already been through green buildings, we've been through orange buildings. But if it's, if it's doors, the doors have to be white in order for Faith to go through it. Right. Now, I know what I'm looking for for the second bag. I'm looking for... Something. I really hope I I haven't missed it, but oh my god, it's so bright. I don't know if this is going to turn up on, on the video, but it's just so bright over there. But yeah, well, when I when I find the area with the second bag, then I'll know it. I'm just looking for something. I, it's like one of those generators but with the fans, but there's like um, kind of a grating on top of it that pre prevent me from... Uh, like, falling through. Gotcha! What the hell's on your helmet? Was that PK? I can remember a game that, that I played. And it, it was called PK. It was a Donald Duck game. That game was good. Right, it's not over here. So where the hell do I have to go now? Oh, duh! Over here. Oh wait, is this one of these ones that I need to drop? 
They're bugged out. Yeah. You should be able to get to the mall without being shot at. Okay. Come on, where the hell's the second bag? I know what I'm looking for. Ah, this is gonna be so damn annoying. Yeah, it's like one of these these things that I'm looking for. Yeah, one of one of these, but there's there's like two next to each other. Oh wait, here we are. This is it. This is what I'm looking for. These things. Because if you go up here. Go over here, turn around. The bag is right up there. There we go. Bag number two. And I know where the third bag is. We are looking for a big truck. Because it's on top of a truck in in, in a warehouse somewhere. Why can't I run up there? Oh, of course, it's a door. Someone's painted it white so that we can't run up it as well. So there we go. If a door's painted white, Faith cannot open it and she cannot run along it. You know, white things Faith cannot do anything with. Of course, she can go through this big white room, which looks like an apartment building. See, that, that's why that she uses her knuckles to punch that red switch because she doesn't want, want to touch the white wall. What do we got? Callahan, Finnis, Corona, bleh, whatever. Just some more propaganda, some news. Alright, come on. Come on, left. I kind of like how the, uh, her, sh her shadow actually moves when you move as well, and you can see how that her hair moves as well. You know that's uh, kind of nice. You know. Oh God, no, no, I don't want to get back up. Oh God, don't do that, Faith. Okay, this way. What the hell's that? Tin tan colors. Colors has got a U in it. It's spelled C O L O U R, not C O L O R. Well, depending on, I suppose, depending on where you are, I, I suppose, because over here, colours is spelled with a U, C O L O U R. Right, he's telling me to go this way. It's so bright here. Right, now it's telling me to. Ah, I think yeah, that's the truck I'm I'm looking for. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna put the cursor on it. The bag's right on top of it. See, it's right there. Right, so I mean it. Right, turn around. So obviously we can't go through that door, so we're gonna have to find our alternate way through. Luckily we can go through vents. Which is lovely. Great, now we go from a place which is so bright to so dark. Uh, let's see, can we... Can we go over this way? It looks like we can, but I'm gonna drop down here. Because this way leads into the area with the truck. So we can finally get our last bag, and there's the runner logo there anyway. There we go. Bag number three. So there we go. All bags collected. Now we can concentrate on finishing the level. Floor plan. I don't really need it. I'll just use the circle plan by pressing circle on my controller. Huh? Loading level. I saw someone. Ah, it's you! You're the assassin! Get back here! Shit! Oh, come on! Really? <sighs> yeah, well, I can't very well get out of here now, now that I'm lying dead on the stairs. This way. Oh, God. Uh... Whoa, 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 what the hell? <laughs> so much for bulletproof glass. Oh, sorry, my mistake. It's not bulletproof glass. Lifts should have bulletproof glass. You never know when people like like that could be firing machine guns off. Oh, yeah. Sure, look at that. They shot the glass out so so much that they made the left go out of order. Right, tell me to go over that way. Okay. Nothing over there. Alright, fine. Let's go. Ow. Climb up towards the upper level. Seriously? That wasn't really a big drop, was it? Mm, well, kind of. 
Maybe one that'll make you go wonky a bit, but not one that'll damage you too much. Right, now it's time to get to the upper levels, and here's exactly how I'm going to do it. By running it along the wall and messing up completely. There's another white um, tree. You gotta get to the roof, Faith. Huh? Oh god, no. Oh god, this is bad, this is bad, this is very, very bad. Oh, just go. Go, 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 go. Go, Faith. Okay, right, let's go, 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 just go, that's all I can say now, just go! Come on, can I not have a level where there's people not shooting at me? You know, well, with the exception of the training level, but from level 1 all the way up to this one, <laughs> everyone's been shooting at me. Alright. Uh, tell them to go up this way. Why can I? Oh, is that stairs? <gasps> Look at that, it was stairs! Awesome! Ah, here we go. Sometimes I wonder how, uh, what Faith's top running speed is, if she can manage to avoid getting shot by these guys. I don't know, he could have, but we can't ask him now. He did. Suppose I need to go here. There we go. Get higher, Faith. Well, you want me to get high? All right. Have you have you got got some weed? We can play some Snoop Dogg while we're at it. You know, smoke weed every day. Oh, I saw someone running. I think, or was that just a shadow? Yeah, I think it might have been a shadow. Right, come on. It's so dark down there, but who cares? Let's go! Ow, ow, ow. Wow, yes, this is very dark. It's a good thing that, that there's no bags to be found in this area. Dr. Dave! New Jasmine Wintersberry Sense! The Eden Estate! Your paradise is in safe hands! Lovely! God damn, what? Oh, there's a copper there. There she is! Oh, they have a goddamn gun. There we go. Oh god, it's telling me to go over that way. Yeah, it's telling me to go up. Alright, so we can't go that way. Oh god. Get rid of you. Can I use the lift? Nope, because the button's green. Apparently, in this game, green means not working. And red means it's working! Oh, here we go, Dwight. Go over here! No, I'm gonna fall! Well, I tried. Alright, let's try again. There she is! Oh shit, baby, they have a goddamn machine gun. I know they've got goddamn machine guns. Alright. So how am I gonna get up? Uh, wait, was that. Oh, nope, out of order. Nope, can't go that way. Oh god, I'm confused now. Oh, wait. Here we go. Yeah, we've now gotten to the point where even if you press circle to face a specific direction, uh, you're gonna have to like, find. Whoa, thank you. You're gonna have to find your own way to get there by going to different rooms. Come on Faith, get up. Okay, yeah, this way. Anything over here? Nope, just another white door that Faith can't seem to open because it's been painted. Okay. Right, okay, come on. Let's catch up to that sniper and see if we can get any information from them. Should be one last door and you're out of there. Yeah. Gotta watch out for that assassin though. <gasps> Looks like my little friend is back. Think he's the assassin? I don't know, but I think I know someone who does. 
Okay, well there we go, that's that level done, so let's watch the cutscene. Lower East Side, 11.01am. Hey, Faithy. Nice of you to drop by. With a little bit of persuasion, Ropeburn was pretty chatty. Told me about his meeting with Pope's killer at the mall. And you're thanking me, right? But when I got there, guess who was waiting for me? No idea, Faithy. I just go there for the pretzels. Bad case of the blues. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? No, Faithy! It wasn't me! Besides, if I wanted you dead, don't you think I would have just killed you myself? You're right. A creep like you couldn't have organized- Now, don't be like that. Ropeburn's dead. I'm impressed. Wasn't me. You need to be careful who you hang around with. Oh, I learned that a long time ago. And yet, here we are again. But I'm afraid I'm gonna have to cut this little meeting short, Faithy. Places to be, you know how it is. Try not to get yourself killed. Merc. Merc, you can stop pretending not to listen now. <laughs> What's up? Can you do a search on Perandella Kruger security? On it. Why do you ask? Been seeing their name around. In Ropeburn's office and somewhere else. Distinctive logo. Getting anything? Mm, just what you'd expect. Alarms, fencing, armored cars, private security. Oh, and they secure our world, apparently. Where are they based? few offices around town. Just got a new place down near the docks. Get me some coordinates. I'm gonna go check it out. Head toward the building with the big stupid dog symbol. Loading bay should be a way in. Okay guys, that's going to be it for today, so next time on Let's Play Mirror's Edge, well, we're going to go over to that building with the big stupid dog symbol, and see if we can find any information there. So, I will see you guys then.